In this video, I'm going to be trying Leonardo AI image generator for the first time. In other words, you're going to join me on my journey as I log in and just explore the software and create some images straight off the bat to see if it's easy to use, the outputs are quick and simple, and I'll also give my thoughts along the way. Here I am inside Leonardo AI, and straight off the bat, I'm just looking at some of these images, and holy cow are these high quality stuff. On the left, we have a bunch of different stuff. Let's go ahead and look at community feed. I assume this is where all of the images generated by the community are. The personal feed are ones that we generate. For the data sets, this is where we can create our own data sets and start training it for better results. And I must say already, the whole platform feels very game-like. It, it's quite cool actually. It really draws you in and it's very, very engaging. So the fine-tuned models is where we have all the different models that we can use, which have already been fine-tuned. So you can see here, which is actually pretty good. Then we've got the user tools. This is where we can generate our own images. So on the left, we can generate up to eight images. The photo reel is where it generates photo-like images. Apparently these are meant to be hyper-realistic. We have the default templates. We can change the input sizes and there's a lot more customization for that. And then we can fine tune it and choose what sort of template we want, as well as deciding what style theme we want to go with. And if we've got any negative prompts, we can add that in as well. We've also got prompt generation, which is if we don't really know how to format the prompts, we can enter in our basic idea and the software would do its best to generate a full blown prompt for it. Now we have the AI canvas and this is where I assume we can edit photos and do all sorts of things with it. Basically like Photoshop, just not as advanced, but in different ways. Uh, so be curious to see what that's like. And now we have the texture 3D models and this is where we can create textures for 3D stuff. I'm probably going to skip this uh, this feature only because I've not really got anything for it and that's all of the options. Let's go ahead and start off with AI image generator and for the image I want to do a baby chick hatching in a bowl of water and I want it to be a cartoon. So now it's generating a prompt for me to use and I quite like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do generate. Okay, so straight off the bat, that's pretty cool. Um, I actually want it more like an egg sort of thing. So I don't know uh, what's going on there, but let's go ahead and fine tune it. And let's try the 3D animation style and we'll change it to illustration. So let's go ahead and do generate. And that took around about 22 credits. It's not the fastest generator so far at the 25 second, 30 second mark. But as you know, when you're waiting, that feels like a lifetime. Okay. So so that took approximately 40 seconds to create and this is a bit more like what I want. So if I just open this up, that looks pretty cool. So in this navigation, we've got things like we can unzoom the image, we can remove the background, we can upscale it and we can crisp upscale. So if we do crisp upscale, I'm not really seeing much of a different result, but either way, oh wait, original and difference. Yeah, there's not much of a difference here, but we can download the image. So if we just download it, open it up, it looks pretty nice. That actually looks really nice. Zoom in and it doesn't get too pixelated or blurry, that's that's all right. So one thing I actually want to try is if I go back to this and I want to make this photo real. So if I click photo and then depth of field, let's make the depth of field medium. I'll leave the raw mode as it is and do save. I'll leave everything on the left as it is and I'm going to change it to cinematic and let's do generate. Okay, and now this should actually be hyper realistic. So if we just open it up, you can see it's got the shallow depth of field there and you've got the foreground, which is nice and crisp. Yeah, it is. It does look quite accurate, actually. Um, I don't think the chick looks entirely accurate. The eggs definitely look accurate, but the chick looks still a little off, a little bit cartoony. Um, but overall, it's actually pretty good. 
if I just download that image, open it up, it's about half a megabyte as well in size. That does look quite nice, fairness. Okay, moving on to the AI canvas. I'm going to do a baby chick hatching in a pond and do general. I'm also going to hide my camera just so we can see the full canvas. Okay, so it's generated this, not quite what I was looking for. Um, yeah, I have no idea what it's generated, but let's just do accept. So we can select it. We can draw a mask over it. So let's just do this. We can also erase things so we can erase that. We can sketch and then we can upload from our computer or previous generation. So let's say remove the chip and do generate. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. Um, when it comes to like the canvas side of things, it's a bit beyond me. I don't think I'll probably be using this. Uh, I do suspect it's for editing the images somehow. I'm just not 100% sure how to do that. Okay, so that was a pretty brief overview, but how did I find it as a first time user? I think the whole interface is super engaging. I really like the layout of it. I like the colors. I like the way all the elements pop at you. It does feel a little bit overwhelming and a tiny bit crowded. So if you're a little bit of a nervous or slow learner when it comes to navigation, Leonardo AI might be a little bit of a struggle to begin with, but you will learn it as you move forward. I like the photo real element of everything. I love the fact that you can give shallow depth of field. It really makes the images pop and it is a quite a nice photography trick to give images more depth and make them look more realistic. So I do like that. I also think the images that we did generate were not 100% accurate from what we actually wanted, but the outputs were still quite cool. They're still quite good. And with a bit more tweaking and a bit more prompt engineering, you'll be able to get some really good results out of it. There's an absolute ton you can do with Leonardo AI. It's just we didn't have time for that in today's video. So I do encourage you to jump in and explore. I also think giving us 150 credits is quite generous. Well, generous at first, but as I started generating the images, those credits very quickly were getting eaten as we were generating four images at a go and each four generations were costing us 20 to credits and then when we wanted to upscale it that was an additional five credits which I wasn't overly keen on the crisp upscale. I couldn't really see a difference there. I do think the credit system should be a little bit cheaper for the users but that's just me potentially being pedantic. I liked all of the various templates and the trained data set that they already provide for you and you can tell by all the community images that people are getting some stunning results. Overall, I think I would recommend Leonardo AI to a, a little bit more of an advanced user and I'm looking forward to see how they develop as they grow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.